Mom, thank you very much. With the Grand Rapids Police Department continuing its push for drones, saying it would maximize service within the city. Yeah, but some community members are against that plan, citing privacy concerns. Fox 17's Lauren Coomer is sharing more on what people had to say during that meeting. Good morning, Lauren. Yeah, good morning to you both. The funding from the program would come from their allotted budget of around $63 million, and it would come at a cost of $100,000 to initially start up the program with an annual recurring cost of $20,000. The immediate benefits, better and much more effective crime scene and traffic crash um, processing, ensuring safety for lar large events, providing more efficient an effective location of individuals in danger and those who pose a danger to our residents. We've already been out to neighborhood associations and we'll continue that when the neighborhood associations have, have meetings over the next few weeks. We're going to stop and, and, uh, and listen to them about drones. Whether you, you live in the third ward, the second ward, uh, Walker or Big Rapids, you deserve adequate police service. During last night's city commission meeting, Grand Rapids Police Chief Eric Winstrom gave a presentation on what the drones would be used for. During his presentation, Winstrom mentioned other nearby communities that are already using drones, including Walker and Kentwood. He also addressed some of the concerns and criticisms of them. Many people in attendance at the meeting were not there to show their support for the drone program. Something in my spirit tells me this public hearing is just a formality. And GRPD is going to acquire drones no matter what we say against it today. I understand why cops want drones. For reasons that could be honorable, but also still unlock plenty of abuses. Let's all remember that GRPD is working at a massive deficit of trust, a racially informed deficit. With a drone, the concern is over capture of data. Uh, other issues that other places have in the country, like weaponization or uh, facial recognition, are not a concern here simply because they are prohibited. City leaders will push this drone proposal to the Fiscal Committee for review. If you'd like to learn more about that proposal or watch the presentation in its entirety, you can head on over to our website, fox17online.com. Reporting live in downtown Grand Rapids, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. All right, thank you, Lauren.